argument has been neutralized. Hello, Reddit. Well, I don't have time to do this properly, but we will at least try to get this LED out. Um, to do the LED swap on the GBA, uh, there's two LEDs. There's the power LED, and then there's the low battery LED. So uh, you want to swap this one. They very nicely marked which way is um, positive and negative. So uh, this side is positive. This side is negative. I don't have a, another LED to swap in, so maybe I'll try to swap this one off and then back on. There is not much of any pad to work with. Um, they didn't leave uh, much there, so it's going to be a little tricky. The easiest way to do this would be with hot air, but most people don't have it. Um, they do sell a really cheap but yet good enough uh, hot air um, station on Amazon for about 60 bucks. I have that one. That's what I would use. I'm going to go ahead and try to do it with an iron because that's what most people have in. Um, I've done um, some like this before, so uh, I'm going to give it a shot. So I've got my, my Heiko FX888 set to about 345 not too critical and I'm going to try to add some solder to um, both sides it's going to be hard because there's really no no pad there so what I've done is ta-da took a piece of copper wire some cat5 uh, a strand out of a cat5 and I've wrapped it around the tip of my iron I'm holding it um, the other end with a hemostat just so I can keep the tension on it and it's a little fiddly but we'll see if it'll work I've actually I'm turning my iron up to um, I don't know, 425 you can see the wire starting to turn all kinds of different colors so and the, what's going to happen is I'm going to use one side of the tip and the other side of that wire uh, on, on either side of the LED so that um, copper should transfer some of the heat to the other side and it should be able to knock that. When in doubt, the answer is always flux. Okay, I don't know if I got that on video, but there it was. Had my iron about 425. Um, just flooded the thing with um, flux. I'm not sure how much the extra little wire. I have used this technique successfully before with the wire wrapped around, but I think I had a much thicker gauge wire. It transfers heat a lot better. But I'm um, not sure if the flux was all that I needed or actually I, I did need that other little piece of wire. So there it's off. Now we need to clean up all the extra flux residue. Also, might have had a little bit too because I was holding that wire with the hemostat. Because uh, the hemostat's hot, I <laughs> just noticed. So it might have been too much of a heat sink on there. If you use thicker wire, you don't have to. The wire can support itself on there. Okay, so I think the LED that I took out is probably not serviceable. Actually, you did find. I went and found some LEDs. And the ones I have are red, so it's not the, the one I would put in if I was going to mod mod it, but um, at least can try it out. I also looked up the um, LED orientation marking here. This is the new one. And I had, um, had a couple from DigiKey or Mouser or something. Okay, I'm going to try to do this left-handed. Um, under this camera, it's pretty hard, so I'm gonna have to do it off camera. But yeah, I'm gonna have to do that off camera. It's a little too hard. I think I did it right. <laughs> we'll see in a second. 
Um, it's slightly off center, but it's not really a big deal. Um, so. Well, I've, I've done something wrong. Let's see. Maybe I read backwards. I'm going to try flipping that LED the other way around. Maybe I just misunderstood. Well, this is a great learning experience, right? So, you can see it in um, a slightly different way. How do that top? Okay, lessons learned. Do not do electronics late at night in a rush. Also, do not use hot air while your circuit board is sitting in a plastic case. It will melt. Okay, so there's the hot air removal method. As you can see, that was a little bit easier than trying to do it with a soldering iron, but it can be done either way. Okay, a couple things. Uh, first, I've got the camera set up a little bit better so we can see the markings on this LED. That's the um, the T I was talking about and from what I w really quickly looked at on the internet it seemed like it's, it was saying that uh, if the T pointed this side that would be negative but um, I think I could be getting a little confused but um, it seems like that's not true it seems like this side is negative um, I was able to get it to work by putting this side on uh, the side I thought was negative on the board I checked the board with my meter and verified that the silk screen is, sh is showing what I think it's showing. So I put this side of the LED on the negative side, I'll point to it on the board in a second, and this side on the right. Uh, let's see if I can get the board under there. Okay, well, that looks pretty good. Um, so the silk screen has the, the diode symbol here and that usually this line usually means this side's uh, negative. So I would assume that this side of the LED would be the negative side and this would be the positive side. Um, and when I check with my meter, it, it seems like that's the case. Um, so um, I'm a little confused about how the diodes are marked but um, shouldn't stop you from from doing this it, the easy answer is if it doesn't work one way you can do it the, the other way um, as, as you might have noticed this is a lot easier to do with hot air um, at least to get it off having hot air makes this super simple but it is possible with just an iron if this thing had um, bigger uh, longer pads then it actually is a lot easier you just take a solder and fill up the side and that side and you can sometimes get it to bridge over the part and uh, heat up just keep heating both sides and it'll it'll just come off but on this one that's a little too hard um, instead of using you know like a little puddle of solder uh, I used a puddle of, of uh, flux because my favorite saying is um, if your soldering isn't going right just add more flux so there you go um, add a bunch of flux maybe try the wire trick use um, a thicker wire than I did maybe something like a 14 gauge uh, solid copper wire would be would be better for that and there you have it okay well I thought that would help some people and um, <laughs> sorry I couldn't make this a little bit more fancy production but um, there you go